Hello and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be talking about a string method, the center method, and how you can use it to make better command line tool outputs. Uh, so let's jump into that. Okay, so I found this method, I don't know, a while ago while I was writing a tool output and before I was like manually centering output and string. I'll, I'll show you what it looks like and then some code that I was writing similar before. Um, but yeah, sometimes you have, you know, a command line tool. Def main int return zero. And maybe inside this command line tool, you want to print out sections of work that you're doing. So maybe you'll do like, you know, setup work and then some teardown work, or I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but before I used to write stuff like this, which would kind of show you which section you're in, and you know, maybe. Maybe you actually do the work here, but we're just going to put some dot dot dots for now. Or this should have been set up, not tear down. And maybe you have, you know, code that looks like this. And so when you run it, python 3 t.py, you'll see you kind of get these sections. But, you know, this is not maybe the, the nicest. These are not aligned properly, and you don't see them all that well. And that's where the center function comes in. And the way it works is you call center and you give it a number of characters to center upon. So my terminals are 80 wide. I'll actually show you a cool uh, way to remove that hard-coded 80 in a second. Um, but by default, if you just pass center, it will pad both sides with spaces and try and center that string. So if we run this now, you'll see that these strings get nicely centered in the middle of the, the terminal. Uh, now, I actually like to keep those equal signs there, so I will often, you know, pass in this second parameter, which is the padding character. And you'll see when we run this now, we get kind of nicely centered things here, and they go all the way to the edge here. Um, and that, like, if you get nothing out of this video, I think that's cool enough as it is. Um, but another thing that's kind of problematic is if, you know, maybe your terminal is smaller, and you run this script, uh, it's it, it does this kind of not nice wrapping, and we can fix that. There is a function in shutil, and I believe all of the not end of life pythons support this now. Um, there's backports if you want a, a backport of it. Uh, for instance, I've backported this as a module called PyTerminal size, but you don't need it there. Uh, shutil.git terminal, terminal size. Uh, I believe it's width and height, so width equals shutil.get terminal size and you can pass that in here width instead of 80 and you'll see now it centers nicely at this terminal width as well as if we were to expand it out and try and center it here um, and it, you know dynamically picks based on your your terminal width um, but yeah i think this is pretty cool uh, another way that you can do this is by manually computing how many equal signs you would need on both sides, but why do that when there's a built-in method for that? But anyway, uh, hopefully this was cool. Thank you for watching. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.